What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I'm going to show you how to turn a hard case into a backpack. Right, so I have this hard case. This is the professional case by Skydio. It has my uh, Skydio 2 drone in it, and I really like this. Now, one of the tricks to this, as well as kind of any other hard case that you might have, whether it's for photo equipment or electronics or laptops or firearms or whatever, you know, there's all sorts of reasons you might have them, is that they are great for protecting all your stuff, especially from impacts or dropage or, um, you know, getting knocked around, but they aren't super easy to carry. You can see this one has a handle like a briefcase, but um, ironically, if I'm gonna have this drone, I'm probably gonna want it in some places that are maybe sometimes remote or travel around to get to the destination. And carrying this uh, the way it's set up is probably not ideal. It would be great to have this as a backpack. Now you could probably just get a backpack that's large enough, you know, 35, 40 liters is probably gonna be enough. You're gonna want something top loaded probably, but that's gonna make it hard to kind of get this thing out. You're also gonna have to make sure that you get something large enough. And that's where I went to the internet and I found this little bad boy, and this is actually pretty unique. Now, there are a number of kits that work like straps and attachments that go on here and then create, you know, backpack straps uh, for hard cases of varying sizes. But this one was in interesting and unique because it's by BMW International, which I think is in Indiana, and they actually make their own line of hard cases, but they make this uh, conversion kit that is kind of universal for hard cases in a couple different sizes but what's really great about this and sets it apart is that they have some additional pockets and stuff on here so you actually get some more functionality when you add this than just the backpack straps and that's really what i was looking for because one of my dilemmas was should i just get a regular backpack throw this in there it might be too big just to get something of this size have to unload it but I wanna really be able to carry a water bottle, maybe some snacks, maybe a first aid kit and all those types of things when I'm out, especially if I'm out in the wilderness. And most of these that are just strap attachments don't have any way to do that. So then you'd have to put it inside. Now this has a top and a bottom pocket and I'll show you those in more detail here, uh, especially when we get it on. But I first wanna just take a look at what we get by BMW here. So this is all really nice. It seems like Cordura or heavy duty nylon. There's some padding in the shoulder straps, which is gonna be really nice, especially the weight of um, card cases is, is pretty significant. You can see we even have webbing here. You've got almost like Molly-like webbing on the front. You have a couple of D-rings right here. Um, this looks like metal hardware. It's actually metal hardware right there. Looks like we also have a sternum strap, which is really nice with a very large buckle. So I'm gonna open that out because I'm gonna be putting that on. So you can see that right there. Uh, those look like they are fixed in place. So as it goes over your shoulders, it should be hopefully in the right position. They are adjustable up here. So not only do you have the straps attached to this fairly firm back piece, which also has its own padding right on the back here. So that should be pretty comfortable. But then you have some adjustments right here. So you can tighten these straps up, kind of lift them off your shoulders so you don't get hot spots right on your shoulder. And that's my hope when you have that is that you have a pretty nice waistband or hip band because that's really where you want the weight of the backpack on your hips not on your shoulders and you can see here we have nice big webbing so it should wrap and keep hot spots off your hips and then we also have a very large webbing right up here adjustable with a nice big buckle so you can uh, put that around your waist and we also have big buckles on the, the straps themselves here so you can adjust them right down here uh, as well as like i said a, an additional d-ring you want to clip something else on there too so lots of backpack functionality. And then like I said, you can adjust these to keep that weight off of your shoulders. Then if we flip it around, you can see we have this top flap, which is gonna curl over the top of the hard case. And I actually think this is going to be oriented like this vertically, so not as wide. So you get this big uh, flap there, and then we have a nice big handle on the top. It's wrapped in uh, nylon there as well. And so that's pretty nice. We also have uh, some straps here. Uh, adjustable straps right on the top, two of those. So you could also put like hiking poles or a sleeping pad or something like that. You could put that on the top there. And then on the top here, we have a pocket on the outside, which is probably the size of, oh, I don't know, like a brick phone or, you know, like an Olight. You know, we could put something like that in here. And that's gonna be really nice because you're gonna have a pretty decent sized pocket right here for, like I said, first aid kit, maps, uh, that type of stuff. It's things that you want really easy access to. It even has a little bit of rubberized lining on the front, so I don't think you have to worry about water getting in there, but this is a really hard material. I love this. 
the hatch on the outside there too. That looks pretty cool. And the zipper opens uh, from side to side, right about to the middle to the other side. And so that's really cool. You get some pockets up the top. Now, if we take a look at how this sucker works, um, what we have is a strap that connects the top and the bottom right here with a buckle. And then you have a side to side strap, which is actually um, uh, opens up on two sides. So you have a buckle on either side. So you have a little bit of this cross in the middle. So if I unbuckle the, from the bottom flap there, now you can see I can unbuckle this side, which is going to keep your case from falling out this side, and then a buckle on this side. And you can see they also have a little bit of a wider base right there to brace that sucker in. So you get the little fabric T attached to the top and everything kind of buckles in, kind of like a five point racing harness almost. And then you can see that big, flat, firm back pad that the case is going to fit against, just like that. And then you do have some adjustments here, so your case can be a, you know, of a little bit different size. This case right here, obviously is not of their design, but as, as I measured this, which I think was like 16 by 20 by 12, I wanna say, they actually had a case, I think it's called their 4000 or 5000 series case, which was almost exactly the same dimensions. So I felt pretty good that this was compatible with that case and my case was a very similar size, so I think this is gonna work. Now, the other one that they have is bigger, so if you have a bigger case, which a lot of people do, especially if you're packing you know, camera equipment, then I think their bigger one should be better, but I almost kinda of wonder if you can have that bigger one and cinch it down to work with a small case, or if uh, it's just, there's too much slack in it, but obviously I wanted to get the one that was closest. So you have these two sides here, and then you have a bottom flap, which is gonna roll up over the bottom, and really nice heavy duty nylon here, but you can see how long that is. It's probably about 10 inches long and that's gonna roll around the bottom. And then this bottom flap is going to flip up and you can see we have another pocket right there as well as the buckle. And the nice thing about this is, so we have an additional pocket. It's about the same size, so it's not super huge, but in here, you know, you can put some snacks, you can put a, uh, probably I would say it's gonna fit one of those regular water bottles that you get in a 24 pack at the grocery store. So you can put that in there as well as other things. And so I do like the fact that you have some additional storage that you just don't get on most conversion kits. Also interesting here on the bottom, right where the case is gonna sit, you do have like this extra padded uh, sewn in piece of foam or something right on the bottom. So I'm guessing that when you put this down on the ground, you're gonna have a little bit of impact protection, impact absorption, shock absorption right on the bottom, which is kind of nice. It's kind of a nice small detail. So let's see if we can put this sucker together here. I'm gonna just lay it down and close the handle. I'm gonna just center this. And actually you can see here that this piece is a pretty good match for the case right off the bat. So I'm gonna put that down there. Now you could probably run the strap through the handle, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna bring them up over the sides. I'm gonna take the top here, pull it down. I'm just gonna snap everything in and see how it fits without adjusting the straps quite yet. And then pull this up. So far, plenty of slack in there. And now I can go ahead and cinch things down. I can do it symmetrically so that I keep everything nice and, nice and centered. And then I can tighten this one down. Yeah, and I would say actually the bigger one, I feel like there's just gonna be too much slack in those, but maybe it'll work. But especially it's really the most important thing I think is the, the, the back piece, cause that's going to keep things centered. So if I just kind of cinch things down like this, you want it nice and tight, cause you don't want this thing wobbling around. And I would say, you know, it's, while this works perfectly, there's really no additional fabric here to tighten this down any tighter. So that's why you want it to be exacting. Like I said, straps up there so I can still load something, grab it by this handle. And now if I just go ahead and throw it on, boom, look at this. All right. So this is great, right out of the, right out of the gate. Clip the sternum strap, which is gonna be great. It's gonna kind of brace everything in place so I don't have any rubbing, creating any hot spots. The hip pad right down here, chip strap. Go ahead and close that up. Look at that. Now I've got the weight on my hips. I could actually adjust those, but now I've got this hard case on my back, hands-free. I can go walking, hiking, whatever, go up a mountain, take this off, open it up, take the drone out, get some awesome footage, put it back, 
But not only that, I have the ability to carry some other stuff too. So it gives me a little bit of backpack capability while being uh, very streamlined and custom to the hard case like this. And it kind of makes me want to get another one because I, I absolutely use hard cases for other things too. You know, like taking other goodies out to the wilderness. And they are just great. One, because you can lock them up and you don't have to worry about people breaking into them. But uh, I might get the larger one to try with my larger hard case because I am really, really impressed with this little bad boy. So that is great. I love it. If you want to pick this up, it's also very cheap and it's actually one of the cheapest ones out there. This thing was under $29 when I ordered it and came very, very quickly. So if you want to pick it up, I will put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.